While it may look like a million dollar exotic car, this Gagliardi VEC sports car is actually a fully custom build based on the chassis of a Porsche Boxster. There's been a ton of recent hype around this supercar alternative, so in today's video, we're gonna be taking a deep dive into the VEX to determine if it's actually able to compete against other supercar alternatives like Vader, Velara, and Zedro. Everything you ever wanted to know about the Gagliardi VEX is going to be covered in today's video, so definitely stick around until the end, and let's get right into those facts. The VEX is produced by a California-based custom car company known as Gagliardi Designs. The brand got its start 17 years ago and has been producing high-quality, affordable builds ever since. Their first official model was called the Vendetta, a car styled after Lamborghinis at the time. To learn a little bit more about this company, I actually had the opportunity to sit down and do a phone interview with its founder, Franco Gagliardi. So to start off, I was wondering if you could tell me a little bit more about how your company got its start. Actually, the way I started it was just as, a, as an enthusiast. And um, I thought it was a time when all the, the hype's going on with this replica car. And to not make a long story, obviously, I mean, there's a lot more to, to where it made me meet this car, but I finally decided I wanted to make my own car. Yes, I did like that style. I like the land style, let's put it that way. But mm -hmm. I didn't want to make a copy of that car. So I wanted to have the... But it's an alternative to the replica, but it's not a replica. I would call it an alternative. Yes, yeah, so that's got the Lambo style, sure. It's got the Lambo doors. It was designed that way, which was actually even harder to do. Because mm -hmm. it was so hard to build a car that you had to look at it and think of a certain car without copying it. In addition to that, Vendetta Gagliardi also offers a fully unique design called the Vengeance, as well as, of course, the Vex we're discussing today. The VEX is a fully custom car built onto the chassis of an existing Porsche Boxster donor car. It fits on models from the entry-level Porsche's 986 and 987 generations, and you can choose between the automatic or manual, base model, or upgraded S version with a little extra horsepower. Once the customer provides their donor car, Gagliardi says the build takes around three to four months for completion, but they do warn that delays are not entirely uncommon. The price, just $45,000 although that doesn't include any performance upgrades that the customer may want to add. So, uh, in addition to the, the new body, do you, do you have any modifications that are done to the, the engine or the suspension or anything like that, or is it just the new body? No, uh, suspension is not optional. If people want me to do coilover swap or, you know, um, performance coils installation, um, as well as the exhaust, the one that do a sound exhaust, or the one in the exhaust system, most of them will come with a, a standard uh, custom exhaust system just to give it a little more sound. The engine, I don't touch the engine. We leave them alone. There's many, 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 many shops they can do that for people. They can just put a turbo charger, whatever the hell they want to do. There's no point. Why do you need me to do that and delay your whole project and all that stuff? We, we, we concentrate on the styling and, and that stuff. So if you're looking for a million horsepower drag car, well, the VEX probably isn't for you. This car is all about the style. And although the original version was actually built with a sheet metal body, their recent models use a more traditional fiberglass exterior. This means the VEX is gonna have a final weight of around 3,500 pounds. Now, that's not terrible, but the Boxster isn't really known for its high power output. The 986 and 987 generations, while they obviously ranged quite a lot as it was in production for a very long time, they only produced around 200 to roughly 300 horsepower. Nothing spectacular. Now, I've never actually driven a VEX before, and to be completely honest, I've never even seen one in person. But what I have done is owned a predecessor to its donor car, the Boxster. I owned a 944 for about a year, did a lot of work on it, and spent a lot of time driving it. And I've also ridden in the Boxster sibling car, the Cayman, which is essentially just the coupe version. And I can say from my personal experience that this lineup from Porsche has pretty decent top-end torque. It's pretty fun to drive, but it's definitely more about the handling than it is about straight-line performance. But at the end of the day, we all know the VEX isn't about the handling or the straight-line performance. It's all about the looks, the way it catches your eye out on the road, and it does that exceedingly well. 
The car gets lengthened thanks to an extra section welded in behind the doors. This gives it a more convincing exotic look with longer and lower mid-engine proportions. Ground clearance will depend on which suspension setup is installed, if any, but you can expect roughly 4.5 to 5.5 inches. It also comes with upgraded 20-inch aluminum alloy wheels, LED taillights, and an optional electronic rear spoiler. The standard removable hardtop is made with an aluminum frame and is also available in glass. The inside is kept mostly stock since Porsche is well known for creating comfortable and high quality, good looking interiors, so for reasons of functionality and safety, Gagliardo decided to leave it alone. Now in the beginning of this video, I did mention that the VEX is going to compete in roughly the same category as other exotic alternatives like Vader, Valara, and Zedro, all brands that I've covered on this channel before. But where the VEX and Gagliardo designs differs a little bit from the competition is that they don't actually offer their model as a do-it-yourself kit car. They don't currently offer any in-home build options for any of their models. However, that might be changing soon. They're currently working on several new versions of the VEX as well as the Vengeance, and those might include a Cayman-based version of the model and, if we're lucky, maybe even a kit. Uh, yeah, there's going to be different versions of the VEX. Um, there is uh, also a Cayman version of the VEX, which uh, is not exactly the the VEX, but so yeah, there is some different versions, 2.0, 3.0, 4.0, whatever you want to call it, uh, of the VEX. The Vengeance, which is the next one that is going to be coming soon, and that's a rather interesting car because a body mixture of combination of Kevlar and, and pieces of carbon fiber and fiberglass. And it's, a, it's, a, it's a really nice product, and we were going to only build two key cars, and that's the one we might actually start making uh, kits for. I never sold a kit, and I've been in the industry for 17 years, so I never sold a kit. I know that that's a different topic. The car, I'm just letting you know this, so you know, you know, just for your information. Yes, there's a lot more coming. The Vendetta has kept me always very, very busy. I'm telling you, I built the Vendetta, the original Vendetta, in 2007. And so the Vengeance was supposed to be the replacement of the Vendetta, and the Vendetta doesn't quit. I still doors. I was so car so behind, I was 15 cars behind. Now, we're finally all caught up. Back to the first thing comes out. The second bag is coming soon. The Vengeance is coming out soon. So yes, yeah, a lot, a lot of, there's gonna be a lot of cars coming out. Hey, if you wanna stay up to date on Gagliardo Designs and all their models, I'll put a link to their website in the description of this video. It's not sponsored, but I figured I'd help them out since they agreed to do that phone interview with me. You may also wanna subscribe because I cover all sorts of really awesome custom cars, kit cars, and exotic cars on this channel. Definitely stuff you don't wanna be missing. Remember to leave a thumbs up and a comment down below. I'll see you next time. God, what is up with this helmet hair? Look like Walmart Hugh Jackman.